Hey, greetings from Texas. I'm out here on my range today. I'm going to um, test out this Votatu M4 L series laser. This is the M lock laser uh, with the um, Picatinny rail adapter. I'm using my uh, custom home built Archangel 1022. This is my 22 training simulator. I use this uh, for low cost training. So it, it has uh, MBUS backup sites, a cheap Tasco uh, red dot. Um, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to try that out. And um, also in response to some comments I got from my review on the um, P4L series, which was the Picatinny rail mount. And I talked in that video a little bit about um, convergence. So if you're mounting it on the vertical axis or the horizontal axis, I tried to explain what the convergence, convergence point was. Um, anyway, um, I got some comments about people asking about mounting it offset, which I assume to them means horizontal. So mounting the laser on the side and I'll have those comments here. If you're not uh, familiar with my background, just to let you know, I just didn't fall off a turnip truck. I spent 30 years in law enforcement. Um, I grew up around firearms. My dad was uh, an aerial gunner on a B-17 in World War II. That's where he learned to shoot, shot a lot of trap, uh, skeet, machine BB guns, and the um, Browning 30 caliber and the M2 Browning 50 caliber aircraft model. So he taught me how to shoot uh, when I was eight years old. So um, from then on, I went, took hunter safety when I was 14, got my Boy Scout Marksmanship Merit Badge. And um, when I got into law enforcement, I became a law enforcement firearms instructor. I did that for 25 years. I also taught a civilian and uh, basic peace officer firearms qualification course at the local community college. Um, which was primarily for reserve officers or people that required peace officer powers and were required to carry a gun. And that had two modules, a handgun module, and the second module was a night shoot with uh, shotgun instruction. I also taught uh, building search techniques and um, high risk traffic stops. That's where you pull people out of the car at gunpoint. Um, spent eight years on the SWAT team as a sniper um, started off as an assault team member and um, as a sniper though I would often fill in um, when they uh, needed additional personnel for assault team because you didn't always need a sniper. Um, I was one of the first 25 officers. We were one of the first agencies in California to issue lasers with their duty pistols. We used the Sig Sauer series of pistols with the Crimson Tide uh, laser, grip laser, and I was part of the pilot program of 25 officers, and we carried them for a six-month period before we um, adopted it. Anyway, um, my preference on mounting a laser is on a vertical axis. That way I'm always in line with, bore, with the bore as far as uh, being on the center of the target. Um, on the case where most of my AR platforms, where I run a Picatinny rail, I always have an open site. That's my primary site system. My red dot is a backup. Um, because, uh, you know, red dots can fail. They have batteries. So I prefer this mount. Now with the comments mounting it off offset, I'm gonna show you some of the problems with mounting it in the offset or the horizontal, that means on the sides. And for you Cairns out there, this is unloaded, no magazine. Um, the problems that you could run into 
by mounting it on the side. Now, if you're just general plinking, um, you know, you can do whatever you want, but if you're gonna carry a weapon and use it for tactical purposes or personal defense, um, you might wanna take what I say, weigh it up in your mind and see if it makes logic, logic sense to you. Um, so one of the comments was, if I'm running at offset, the one comment stated they just account for that difference between the distance of the laser and the bore axis. That's fine, but my point of view is if I'm gonna miss, I wanna miss low. Okay, so if I'm aiming here and I miss low, I still have the opportunity to hit all that body from three and a half feet down to ground level. If I'm offset and I miss, I'm gonna miss off to the left or right depending on how you mounted your laser sight. Hopefully that makes sense. So why in a uh, defense situation do I wanna calculate that offset? Again, with a vertical axis, you're gonna be in the center of the target or wherever the center of your bore is pointing on an offset, you're gonna be offset left or right. Kind of like doing the shooting from the side. Okay, now there's times you wanna shoot from the side and if your laser is on the side and you're shooting over a barricade, it's gonna block it. And I'm gonna put on a, a head cam and I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm talking about in those respects. If you're shooting underneath a barricade or underneath a vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to rotate your weapon horizontally. Well, if, if your laser sight is on the, on the left side, my bore's gonna be under the car, but my laser sight's gonna be pointed at whatever the barricade is and vice versa. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and kind of demonstrate those things for you uh, right now. To uh, teach shooting over a barricade, and you can see this on videos online, combat footage, where somebody's shooting over a barricade and they're aiming through their scope, but they're not, they're not considering the bore access and they end up shooting the barricade. All right, which could be no bueno. You can get blowback or you can skip a bullet off the top and completely miss your target. So when you're shooting over a barricade, you can see here on a vertical axis, also my laser's below, you're gonna to wanna to rotate your weapon on the horizontal. At that point, I'm gonna to have to compensate knowing that where my laser is, my bullet's gonna strike about two inches to the left of that. Okay, and I'm, by going horizontal, I'm also exposing less of my head to the uh, threat. Okay, and I could go either way. But if my laser was on the side, so let's pretend my, my gun is pointed like this, but my laser's now down here, it's not doing me any good. Okay, when I'm coming around a hard corner, my red dot's in line with my barrel, so when I break the plane, as I'm slicing the pie, my barrel and my laser are gonna be on the center of whatever I'm shooting at. So for instance, let's pretend my, my weapon is vertical and my laser's offset. When I break the plane, with my barrel, my laser's on the barricade. If it's the other way around and my laser is on the left side, my laser's gonna break the plane of the barricade, telegraphing where I am, and my barrel's still pointed at the barricade, so I'm gonna have to expose more of my body. If that makes sense. If you're going down hallways, which are typically white at night and you have a laser, okay? If my laser's down below, my weapon is partially blocking the reflective light. If my laser's on the side, 
again, you have to imagine my weapon's vertical, I'm gonna get reflection off that surface, which can interfere with your night vision. So, in a nutshell, in my opinion, mount your laser on a vertical axis, preferably on the bottom. If you mount it on the side, you're also gonna have something sticking out that could get caught in a tactical situation. Like if you're in a vehicle, your seatbelt, um, if you're out in the woods, twigs, you know, Murphy's Law. Poo poo happens when uh, you least expect it. And it always, it never always goes 100% right in a tactical situation. So anyway, those are my points on um, why I like to mount my laser on the vertical axis, not the horizontal axis. I don't want, again, to recap, I don't want to calculate that offset left or right. I know I'm on center, and if I miss, and it's mounted underneath, I'm gonna miss low and still hit my threat. Even if you skip the bullet off the ground, that's a whole different subject. I mean, you, you still have the opportunity to hit somebody in the lower legs or lower extremities. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the helmet cam so you can kind of get a, a perspective of what I'm talking about. Okay, if my uh, laser's on a vertical axis and I'm coming around the hard corner, my laser's in line with my bore. Do it on a refrigerator here. All right, they coincide. If I'm on the left side, pretending my gun's vertical, my bore's on the target, but my laser's not. If I mount the laser on my right side, pretending my gun is vertical, my laser is going to be on the target, but my bore is not. All right, we're going to come up vertical over the barricade. So what I'm going to want to do in that situation is go horizontal. My barrel and laser are now on a horizontal axis. And then I could compensate left or right, depending on where my laser is. Okay, but if I'm shooting that way, we have to pretend my gun is now horizontal. My laser is pointing at the barricade and I'm exposing more of myself as opposed to down here. Okay, I'm minimizing my target. All right, so let's shoot the laser. All right, folks. Well, I hope that all made sense. I hope I didn't forget anything. I didn't script it out. So I'm just kind of going ad hoc. Um, anyway, if you still think mounting the laser on the side of your weapon is a good idea, that's up to you. Um, again, what I don't know what your mission is. If you're just a plinker um, or you intend to train with your weapon for self-defense, you know, um, if that's not a concern, you can you can do whatever you want. I'm just pointing out some things that you should consider when mounting a laser for self-defense. And uh, you can do with it whatever you want with that information. So I hope this was informative. Um, I appreciate you stopping by. There'll be links to the, um, the uh, P4L laser um, video that I did and if you go skip to the middle there's a part I do about the convergence points again um, you know if if you're gonna be off with your laser it's better to be off vertically on the center of your target than off left or right the other thing I didn't really touch upon is once you start moving out the MOA minute of angle on your dot that your dots gonna increase in size and that's going to um, interfere more with your offset calculations, okay? So if you have a four-minute uh, MOA at 100 yards on your dot, that's a four-inch error factor, which is going to equate to where your bullet strike is going to be, too, off left or right, and you may completely miss the target. 
Okay, folks, appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.